Hello YouTubers, my name is Frans and I'm showing you today the first light of the year of my FPV guided rocket. It's a project I've been working on a few years already. What you see here is a rocket with a uh, flight controller in it that's also used to fly planes and quadcopters. Uh, there's INF control software on it. Here you can see the uh, control services moving and the idea is that I launch and after that I fly back uh, as a plane and have a shoot soft parachute landing. So here you can see the electronics, flight controller, video transmitter, receiver, a battery, all kinds of stuff. I have two cameras, one facing front in the front and one facing to the side. You will see that later on in the actual FPV footage. So this is the, f the launch, uh, just checking if there's nothing in the air in this in the surroundings and then off we go so the launch wasn't very stable i still have some roll issues and also uh, some pitch over issues because probably the uh, center of gravity is not exactly uh, in line with the motor but it was okay So here you can see our field and the smoke. So now you'll see the actual FPV footage, what I saw in the camera when I was flying it. You can see a lot of roll motion. Totally confused now. Uh, no idea where I am. But I was able to fly back, you can see uh, in a second. Here you can hear actually the rocket coming back. Just pay attention. So All it made right. a little you know, recovery, uh, by, recovery by shoot, yeah. parachute, and it landed in the field next to us, as you can see in this clip. Uh, pay attention on the rocket with a high speed shoot retraction. Uh, the shoot really uh, deploys at speeds well above 100 kilometers an hour, which is quite challenging. So now it landed in the field next to our airfield with some cows running to it. Very curious. Uh, the tail end landed in the water, but uh, luckily the uh, electronics are in the nose. So here is the final uh, descent of the rocket no idea where i am but i'm paying attention to the the arrow in the middle of the uh, of the image which shows me where the home position is so here shoot deployment uh, and falling back to earth at this moment you have no control anymore landed in the water a few times but now it's in the grass so safe landing more or less So what I'm showing here is the uh, data coming from the uh, black box logger, data logger. It's part of the INF flight controller in the rocket. Uh, you can see a lot of things, like here on this axis you can see the readings of all three accelerometers. Here you can see the readings of the, the gyros. And here you can see the height and the speed of the rocket. Uh, this is all logged in the black box data logger asset. You can retrieve a lot of more information and show it here in the graph. Uh, but here, uh, the, I'm limited to what you see here. Here you can see the inputs from the sticks. So if we go through the logging, here you can see the start of the rocket. You can really see the high accelerations in the beginning of the flight. And what you can clearly see here is the same profile that I recorded with the um, um, with with the data data logger in which I recorded the thrust of the of the rocket motor the the sugar motor. I took these readings on my Arduino based um, logging system. So here you can nicely see the same profile that you can see in the readings of the the, the black box data logger. As expected, uh, the G's go 
to a max of 16. I think it was well above 20 G's, um, which is quite a lot. So here we go into the flight. You can see the rocket spinning a lot. It's a problem I need to solve. You can see the speed increase rapidly and also the, uh, the height increasing. And somewhere here, we are at the apogee of the rocket. So the highest point, the speed is at its lowest. And from that, speed starts to increase again. The height starts to decrease. So we're flying back to the start point. Until here, you can see the deployment of the rocket, which gives a lot of uh, motion, g-forces. Here the rocket is dangling under the parachute. And if we go further, we can see how the rocket landed and all came to a rest. So it's really neat that you can afterwards um, retrieve all this data. What's also neat is, neat is that you can retrieve the GPS data from the same logging file. And you can put that into Google Maps. And in Google Maps, you can really see the flight of the rocket in 3D, which I think is really neat. Uh, you can really have a look all around it. And also retrieve this height information. Um, so yeah, that's all really neat, I think. So here is the uh, recovery of the rocket. It's quite exciting with these young cows being very curious. It scared me a little bit, but uh, getting back my rocket uh, was more important to me. So I just slowly moved towards the rocket. Luckily, they didn't step on it. So there it is. Slowly walking back to, to safety. So in, in the end, the flight ended quite well. Still have to work, some work to do on the stability of the rockets, but I've got that covered almost. So I'm almost ready for the second flight. You'll see a video of that later on. Bye bye.